today with what I hope will be kind of a fun, exciting video. I'm going to be unboxing <laughs> three months worth of boxy charms. Um, this is January's, February's, and March's, although I must admit, I know this one is March. I don't know which of these two is January and which is February. I think I have it in the correct order, but I won't know until I open it up um, and find out. Because I wasn't originally planning on holding on to three months worth of boxy charms. I was planning on filming each month, me opening and trying it on and giving my reviews, but life just got busy. I started a new job, um, went on a little vacay, I, you know, one thing or another, and I never got around to filming them. And I didn't want to open them because I still wanted to show you guys. I felt like bad opening them. And I hope this is, ended up being a kind of a fun idea, even though it was unintentional. And let's just dive right in. Oh, and by the way, if you, <laughs> it's a bruisey. I have no idea where it came from. I probably ran into like a door or something. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, just ignore this little guy here. All right, let's do the reveal together. Jeez Louise, I must not have gotten the tape all the way off. Ooh, this is a really pretty card. This is probably one of my like favorite cards that I've seen. It's just, I don't know if you can really tell. There's, um, it's very, well, it, the theme is refresh, apparently. There's bubbles and fruit and it's giving spring vibes even though this is definitely not the march box or definitely a winter box let's see i wonder is there something on here that can tell me which month this is i don't know what month this is well i'm just gonna go through it and then i'll edit the video appropriately and put whichever one um whichever one's january's box first so I'm gonna leave March's for last for sure. And without looking, I'm just gonna dive in and grab the first item, which was a lot longer than I expected it to be. Holy cow, do you see this? All right, this is the Dragon Beauty Lip Job Liner and Lip Pencil Sharpener. So also Dragon is spelt D-R-A-G-U-N, kind of unique. I'm gonna guess that this is just a lip liner and nice so that they include a sharpener because I hate when I can't find a good sharpener. For this thing is so long. I have never seen a pencil, a, a beauty pencil of any kind be this long. Yeah, it just comes with a little sharpener, nothing too fancy or crazy. And this is in a brownish color. It's kind of, I mean, I won't even say it's a mauve. It's really a brown, which I kind of dig actually. I'm, I could I feel like there's so many pinks and mauves and whatnot with lip liners that I kind of like when there's more neutral or unique shades. So, and this is apparently in the shade 2.0 CC. This is a lip pencil, right? Contour, reshape, and create your ultimate lip fantasy with this XX extra long lip pencil. Ultra moisturizing and hydrating, this formula serves fuller lips needle free. Keep your lip job liners on point with the single blade Dragon Beauty logo sharpener. Okay, so what this is, because we are very much in a day and age where with, I mean, we're always with makeup we're defining, but now more than ever, I think that we're doing a really cool job of contouring and it's extended from beyond just like, you know, the hollows of your cheeks and forehead and chin to your nose and your lips. And so a lot of people um, are getting like lip injections right now, but for those who don't want to get you know, lip injections. They're making makeup that would be good for outline, <clears throat> good for outlining. So you could put a little bit underneath there, maybe a little bit around if you want to have those fuller, you know, lips. And I think that's really cool. This is a very innovative lip pencil. The next product I'm going to try is from Pharmacy. This might be, I think I selected this one. Um, and I, we have gotten something by pharmacy in the past. I don't know if I've tried that product yet, but I selected this one. It says feeling good hyaluronic acid plumping serum. Um, it's a skin plumping micro filling serum that hydrates and smooths the look of fine lines. This powerful formula features advanced multi molecular hyaluronic acid designed to work more effectively with the skin along with amino acids and vegan collagen peptides to deliver visibly plump, plump, healthy looking skin. So that was very much a mouthful, but 
Another thing that we're getting into um, now more than ever is good skincare, which is, I was very late on skincare. I didn't really give a crap about skincare until the last couple of years. And even now, I don't think I have half of the skincare regimen that some people do. It's a pretty small bottle, but I imagine you don't need to use a ton. It's 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said this, but the pencil was $18. And then this is $44. All right, next item that I'm pulling out and tossing is by Pure. I know we received some products by them before too. Um, and this it says fully charged eyes. Oh, it's a mascara in the color black. Oh, good. I go through mascara like crazy. I'm also very picky about my mascara though. I like drugstore mascaras a lot and there are not many high-end mascaras that I've enjoyed. Um, I just find that I like bold lashes and a lot of drugstore mascaras are very buildable while a lot of higher end mascaras have thinner formulas and aren't as buildable. Oh my God, I'm just struggling to open everything today. Okay, oh, but this is a really good sized tube. The real question of the matter is the wand, kind of just a straightforward wand, but I think the formula looks pretty thick. And so that's promising. So this retails for $22. It's called Fully Charged Mascara Powered by Magnetic Technology. The Fully Charged Mascara is powered by a revolutionary magnetic polymer matrix that wraps a positively charged elastic veil around each lash, lash to instantly lift, separate, and define for unparalleled performance. Huh? I don't know. I get like magnetic liners so you can have your um, falsies stick to it, but I've never heard of a magnetic polymer matrix. Um, anyway, fortified with a specialized blend of ingredients such as nourishing vitamin B, this mascara helps condition and strengthen eyelashes to help prevent premature lash loss, which I could definitely use because I don't have many lashes and those that I have are not very long. Um, and I wear a lot of mascara, so I have to like wash it off quite a bit. And so I can definitely use anything that's going to hydrate and help strengthen my lashes. But yeah, I'm going to maybe have to do some more research on what the whole magnetic property to this is and what the point of it is. Apparently it just does a really good job of lifting and separating. So we'll have to try it out. I just wanted to add as I'm in bed editing this video that I looked up the pure magnetic mascara because I wanted to understand the magnetic properties and I didn't really find much but I did find that Benefit has a similar magnetic mascara and the way it works is that there's magnets in the brush as well as in the formula and so when you brush it through your lashes the magnet actually pulls the uh, attracts and pulls the mascara all the way through the lash into the end and makes them longer. Does that make sense? Then we've got a product by Earth Arbor called Nymph Nectar. I feel like that's such a whimsical name. I like it. It says Superfruit Radiance Balm. It has sea fruit, which I don't know what that is, and super berries. I still don't know what this is though. It's a really cute little container. And it has like, it has something that's really kind of peachy colored in it. Let's see what the card says. As sea fruits and tropical superberries playfully melt across your face with this balm, they insert a lively abundance of vitamins C, A, E, and K, omegas, amino acids, and numerous other bioactive necessary for achieving your best, bounciest, dewiest skin. Huh. I don't know if I really understand it. I mean, a balm, is that like a face lotion? You know, like a thick face lotion? When do you apply it? Do you apply it at night before you go to bed? Or is this something you can put on before your makeup? I have a lot of questions. <laughs> the Ritual. As a moisturizer, oh, so you can use it as a moisturizer by emulsifying a tiny doll between your fingers and gently massaging into your face and neck. Or as a sleeping mask, as the last step in your nightly skincare routine, apply a generous layer, massage in, let absorb for 10 minutes. Or as a rescue repair treatment, scoop out a small dollop and massage into affected areas. That is really cool. I feel like I'm getting a lot of very innovative products in this box, things I haven't heard of before. Um, so this is kind of like a three for one. It has m many different uses. I wonder if they sent this out in January because 
you know, your skin and everything's very dry during the winter, especially here in Minnesota, um, and needs that extra vitamin boost and elasticity. Okay, I just wanted to show me sampling this product and talk a little bit about it because at first it was like almost flaky. It reminded me of melted candle wax when you touch it and it kind of hardens and flakes up. And then when you apply it, it's like an ointment, like Vaseline. It felt super healing um, and it also smelled fruity and peachy and sweet and it smelled amazing. So yeah, I really like this. And the last item of this box is some kind of a palette by the brand Aesthetica. There's been a lot of repeat brands. I swear I've heard this name before or gotten a product by them. And this is a Contour Series Cream Palette. OMG, I am so excited for this. Oh, 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 oh. you guys, I am stoked to receive this. I am so I have a very limited number of contouring products and I'm so happy that this is a, um, a contouring palette and not another eyeshadow makeup palette because I literally have easily a couple dozen palettes if not more so this is something I will get so much use out of I hope it works well um, this uh, this retails for only $40 and I mean I shouldn't say only because that's still not cheap, but you know, in comparison to a drugstore palette, but compared to how, you know, that serum was 44 and that um, balm was 38, you know, $40 for a substantial palette is not that absurd by any means. This kit contains six blendable silky creams that are designed to accentuate, define, and highlight your face, three contour shades for sculpting, and three highlight creams to enhance your favorite features. This kit includes removable and refillable pans, very cool, packaged in a travel-friendly mirrored palette, specially formulated for fair to dark skin tones. I don't know what that means because it's just saying specially formulated formulated for all skin tones, fair to dark. But anyway, but yeah, that's a really exciting um, product as well. So overall, box number one, I think this is a January box. Um, I have loved everything in it. My first impression is that there is not one thing in this box that I'm not excited for, and that happens very seldomly with, with BoxyCharm. There's normally at least one product I'm like, okay, I have that, or you know, okay, that's nothing new. But that was a great way to start this video. Let's move on to box number two. Ignore my little rip and tear there. This is what it looks like like not very appealing since there's a thing on top this is definitely the february box which is good because i wasn't sure what the last box i fi filmed if it was the january or the february so i'm on the right track and the theme obviously was valentine's be my glamantine um it has some little crystals and whatnot on there not as exciting to me as the last card but still cute the very first thing on top is a palette by Ace Beauté, which I'm familiar with. I've noticed a lot of recurring brand names. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that or maybe just BoxyCharm is closely affiliated with a lot of these um, brands. So anyway, this is Ace Beauté Glow Highlighter Palette. Fabulous, since in our January box, we got a contouring palette. So I'm just gonna have all the palettes. <laughs> Let's open it up. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shimmery colors and all sorts of different like shimmery colors too. Like you have everything from like a very pearly white over here to a pearl with iridescence over here. This one's like pinkish and this one's almost like bronzy. That is beautiful. This retails for $40. And this is a Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. The Ace Beauté Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette is all you need to get your glow on. Each shade is buildable and easily glides on the skin, giving you a seamless glowing look. So pretty straightforward, but beautiful nonetheless. Next product is by Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer. Yes, this is, I'm excited for this. Anything that ever says toner or primer, I get excited for. This apparently does, has eight super blacks essence, which I don't know what that means. It, it says formulated with eight super blacks essence. This primer blurs imperfections and prolongs foundation wear. Hmm. A little tube. 
This retails for $35 and the card says, this primer is the perfect first step to achieving a superfood glow infused with eight super powered skin loving ingredients to help minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines and wrinkles. The lightweight satin sheen formula creates an invisible skin perfecting finish. I don't really have any good makeup primers that I'm using right now, so I'm excited to try this. Okay, the next product in this box is a mask. It says it's by Teeny. It's a, it's a detox mask with green tea blend, matcha, lemongrass, and clay. It retails for $29.99, and it says this mineral-rich mask must will be a must-have in your self-care routine. Made with organic matcha green tea, lemongrass, and bentonite clay, this natural detoxifying mask is formulated to rid pores of impurities while, repl while replenishing the skin with necessary superfood nutrients. I'm not super stoked about it just because I feel like I get masks and clay masks from BoxyCharm all the time, and to be quite frank I, there's a lot of them I haven't tried yet um but it's still a good value I mean this alone is more than the box cost so can't complain too much next in the box I have a something by Estate it's a precision liquid liner a felt tip eyeliner the card says this only retails for $12 so not too inexpensive or not too expensive Estate Cosmetics Precision Felt Tip Liquid Liner. This ultra fine felt tip liquid liner delivers any look from a quick flick to a bold wing, lasting all day. It won't skip, tug, feather, smudge, or run. So that's a big and bold claim to make. I hope it's true. And the last product in this February box is by a brand, I'm gonna butcher this, Ilamasqua. Ilamasqua. Um, this is a hydrating setting spray. Hydra setting spray is a lightweight mist that locks in makeup for a flawless dewy finish. This nonstick formula dries fast to set your makeup all day. Infused with pea peptides, never heard of that, rich in amino acid, Hydra setting spray will leave the skin feeling refreshed and moisturized, and this retails for $26. So all in all, my impression of this box, I... I'd be lying if I said I was nearly as impressed as the January box. The January box kind of th th blew me away. However, that being said, this box, just because it's not cutting edge, you know, or introducing anything particularly new to me, the products could still be very good. So yeah, that was the February box. Let's move on to the March box. All right, here's the March box. Ah, just like February, not very impressive because there's just paper on top. <laughs> I have the card here this month. It's got some pretty lilac -y purples and some yellows. The theme is apparently Game Changer. Oh, celebrating Game Changers and Boss Babes in honor of Women's History Month. Okay, very cool. I like it. The first thing I'm pulling out is, in, oh, I was going to say in a different language because one side is in a different language. I wonder what language that is. Santorini. So probably like, is it Greek? It's by Kors, Kores. Um, and it says it's called Santorini Grape Velvet Skin Drink. What's that? I've never heard of that. It's this really pretty bottle. Um, actually gorgeous. I love this. It has a dropper in it. However, I will say, by the way, don't be deceived. Half of this is just glass. So there's only like this much of actual product. Okay, this retails for $48. So a pretty penny. Um, transform your skin to velvet with a single drop of the multitasking treatment that blurs imperfections, smooths texture, and replenishes skin with awakened hydration. When am I supposed to use it? Let's see. Use after, use after daily cleansing, apply to the face and neck, avoid the eye area. So there's not very specific instruction. It's just supposed to be some kind of a maybe oil or liquid that is replenishing to your skin. Um, I'm going to try it with my gua sha and see how well it glides. Does it get quickly absorbed or does it kind of sit on your face a little bit more like an oil? The next product is a two pack of sponges by Elena Badro, which the only reason I'm not more excited about, which because I love sponges is because I'm pretty sure I got like this exact same thing or Maybe it's not the exact thing, same thing, maybe it was a different brand, but I got a two pack of sponges in the December box. You've got like a, you know, beauty blender style, and then you've got the Real Technique style um, two pack. And it says these luxurious sponge applicators were designed for applying and blending all types of foundations, concealers, and or powders to offer a flawless finish. This pack includes two latex-free luxury sponges with different colors and shapes for precision application. 
this retails for $34. That is pricey to me for like two little sponges. And maybe that's the cheap me talking because I love my Real Techniques $8 beauty sponge. Um, but even like a beauty blender is $20, isn't it? Like, I mean, I guess this is for two, but $34 is a little bit steep, but maybe they're going to be the best thing I ever tried. Who knows? The next product is a brightening vitamin C mask by Frank Body. On the front, it says for babes who bite the forbidden fruit, then mask with it. That's really cute. And apparently it has cac cacadu plum and papaya enzyme and the kakadu plum tackles pigmentation which i'm very much hoping is true um i like any product that tackles pigmentation i naturally have some pigment extra pigmentation around my lips area um a little bit around the nose and eyes and so it's not anything you know too crazy but it's something that I like to target so that when I'm not wearing any makeup that day, I feel very confident. So I hope that that's true. And the papaya enzyme apparently dissolves dead skin. So, oh, and the back says bad day. Look on the bright side. Your skin's having a good run. So that's kind of funny. Oh, it's a tube, like a big fat, almost like deodorant roller looking tube. Oh, it's just not what I expected. And then a pump. Huh, cool. Um, I would like to comment now that this stuff did not come out how I expected. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, I like almost freaked out over my white carpet. I thought that it was going to be like a foam or something, but it came out fast. It came out way more liquidy and just with a lot of product in one pump than I expected. But yeah, this is what it looks like. By the way, the instructions say apply a thick layer to clean skin, rub in circular motions for 30 seconds and leave for five minutes. Rinse. Use two to three times per day, which is a lot. Oh no, use two to three times per week. Okay. I was going to say two to three times per day. There is no way I'm that disciplined with my skincare routine. A sophisticated formula. It's got more than one move. Use this vitamin C for acne hyperpigmentation. Okay. Well, I don't really have acne hyperpigmentation. I just have regular hyperpigmentation, but anyway scarring and fine lines you don't need that overpriced serum or that beauty filter bold very bold frank body and this retails for $19.95 the next item is something called lovebirds by pretty vulgar i do remember that name i think i had there's one of my favorite blushes that i use is by them um and it's a two pack of something Ooh, ooh, the two pack of lip products the packaging is just stinking adorable there's a bunch of little lovebirds on them golden lovebirds oh, beautiful um this duo combines an ultra pigmented matte liquid lipstick and a high shine moisturizing clear lip gloss worn alone the gloss provides a lustrous non-sticky shine for all your favorite lip products Adding the vivid red before the gleaming gloss delivers a perfectly kissable pout. I like glossy lips a lot. I mean, I like matte lips too, but the one thing about liquid lipsticks is that sometimes they pronounce the lack of moisture in your lips. So you can have lips that without anything look, you know, fine, but then you put these on, the liquid lipstick on and boom, it's like they look dry and it's almost chapped and so, so sometimes I like to go ahead and put a gloss over a liquid lipstick anyway, but sometimes then the formulations are off and it just doesn't quite go right. So this, these are supposed to be able to work together um, and I'm excited to try that. I'm not going to try the red now, but I will try the gloss right now because I will be going out soon. I'm not wearing any lip products today otherwise. Just like a medium consistency gloss, if that makes sense. It's not thin, it's not too thick, um, and it doesn't have any smell whatsoever so it just seems like a very basic straightforward gloss that could be worn on its own um so yeah very nice this retails for thirty dollars together so the last item in this box is a coconut and fig hair mask by style dry um which is cool because we haven't gotten any other hair products in the last couple boxes so this retails for $16.95 and it says this super hair mask is enriched with coconut oil and muru muru butter for healthy, hydrated, and glossy hair. It's the must have hair mask to nourish your hair deeply and give you the ultimate treatment at home. Your hair will be moisturized, silky, and shiny as never before. 
and the way you use this is you gently work the mask through your hair from root to tip you leave on for 10 minutes before rinsing and voila you're good to go use one to two times per week as necessary as needed i'm a little curious as to what the best time to use this product would be like do you use it before taking a shower um and then do you shampoo after i might have to look some of these questions up but regardless i am happy with anything that is going to give me rich shiny and healthy hair theme i've noticed with this march box and but just with um the last three to six months of maybe to a year of boxy charm in general is that more of the product the ingredients in the products are getting listed on the card and i think that's because like i said a little bit before people are putting a lot of care into their skincare routine now more than ever and people want to know what ingredients they're putting on their face and I like it too because not that I'm the best at going and researching every single ingredient to understand what it does but I like to know what ingredients contribute to the claims that these products make so they say that they give you really hydrated skin well what ingredients are doing that you know are they chemicals or are they natural oils and fruits and this and that? I think that it's good to educate your customers and so that they understand what they're putting on their face and how it's helping them. So this was a lot of products in a short period of time. This, this March box was pretty good. A lot of skin care and hair care stuff. I mean, there was a hair mask, a skin mask, and then a skin drink. So the only actual makeup that we got in this box was the lip products. If I were to kind of categorize the three months, you've got the first January box, which is still my favorite. I was very, very impressed with the product. I would describe that box as innovative um, and new. And then I would describe the second box as basics, like good basics. You got your good primer in there, your good mascara in there. And then this third box, which is very much um, mask and healing oriented, focusing on your the health of your hair and your skin. Reminds me of putting sunblock on, not like with the scent or anything, but with the, the consistency. And what I like is that it really absorbs into your skin and now I feel like I have nothing on. Okay, I've got the um, blend beauty blenders here. I decided to wet them because one, it makes them bigger, easier to work with. Two, I feel like the moisture helps, I don't know, helps the foundation spread a little more and have more of a dewy finish. And three, otherwise the sponges just absorb an obscene amount of um, product. So. I think it did a pretty decent job. Um, I don't know that I can say it did any better than an $8 Real Techniques blender, but, and I wouldn't spend this much money on it on my own. Um, but if I'm gonna receive it in a BoxyCharm, then yeah, it's great, that's just fine. I got one side applied, now I'm gonna use the side to dab it out. I always give beauty blenders a little grace period on their first use because they're going to inevitably absorb a little more than you'd like them to. And I like to use like this to go around my nose there. So yeah, I don't really have any complaints about the sponges. They work pretty well. One thing I'm gonna point out is that I think these sponges are a little more porous. Like you can see all those holes and whatnot. And so they probably absorb quite a bit and I'm not really sure how that affects the finish of the foundation on my face. I'm also going to use the tapered side of the foundation sponge to um, set underneath my eye. By the way, for this, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Flower um, Powder, and it is my favorite thing. I've told friends about this. I just love it. Okay, I'm going to go in with a Luxie 510 foundation brush and the Aesthetica Contour Palette kind of getting it in my hair. Don't judge me. I'm just going to do a little bit around here. I think that this would blend really well with a sponge. So I'm going to take this dampened sponge and I'm going to... This is really nice. 
I really like how that turned out. That looks beautiful. Love it. I used this shade, by the way, the second darkest one. I'm also going to go in with one of the lighter shades. Which one should I do? I might do this middle one because I have more yellow tones in my skin and I want it to look, I want it to match and look realistic. So I'm going to go in with that and I'm going to apply a little bit at the chin. Okay, I did a little bit of blush, and then now I'm gonna go in with one of these colors, and I just don't even know which one to pick because they're all so pretty. Ah, oh, decisions. Okay, so that is very pretty. You can see that glow. Um, I'm not sure that I love the formula as much as some um, highlighters. I um, can't tell why. It's just looking a little less, oh, I use the word seamless a lot, but seamless. But overall, this is very stunning, glowy, beautiful. And then now I'm gonna go in with the Estate Liquid Liner. And I still use tape because I like a really sharp <laughs> wing. Beautiful. This is like ink, which can be really scary because you can probably really screw up. But if you are very precise, it glides on so beautifully. No tugging, no skipping. My cat's trying to get out. Okay, brows are done, <clears throat> eyeliner's done, and now we're gonna do the mascara. So I'm gonna start by curling. Initial impression, even though you can't really see my, I have really short lashes, so it's gonna take way more than that one coat, especially when there's liquid liner. But it did a fabulous job of singling out my lashes. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my lashes after three coats. I went a little too ham on the lower lashes, but no big deal. Um, yeah, so far I really like it. I think you get a good amount of buildability without it clumping up, you know? You're still getting the singled out lashes and they're just kind of getting longer with each coat. You do get a little bit of clumping at the very end sometimes, but it's really easy to brush or pick off. I will say with mascara, the real test comes with time. Um, is it, it's like, it's like when you go to tour a house, you see the outside and it's so pretty and you love it, but what you really have to do is, you know, enter the house and do a whole walkthrough and inspection. For me, that's like the first initial application and how it looks is important, but then how it wears throughout the day, does it smear, um, does it flake off, does it start to droop? That's really the important. Get out of there. See, so it's Wow, instantly that I feel like that made a difference. Look at that, that's so cool. Look at that pout. Nice, nice. I like it. Kind of a cool product. Okay, I've got the Pretty Vulgar Duo set. That is such a beautiful, like, red carpet red that is so very striking and rich and bold the application was easy it dries a lot faster on the lips than it does on the swatch i did a swatch on my hand and it took like two to three minutes to dry this is already dry in 20 seconds 30 seconds i'm going to use the clear top coat my only hesitation is that i really don't want to get red on the applicator of this so i think i'm just going to apply it to my finger I'm not getting any red coming off though, so that's kind of promising. These seem to work together really well. I'm going to finish off my makeup look with the La Masqua um, Hydra Setting Spray. Ooh. Ooh. That was pretty heavy. It was a nice mist, but it, I don't know, it was a lot of liquid. I actually really like that setting spray. It made my face... Um, feel a little bit dewier and healthier without feeling wetter. Hmm, I 
actually kind of like that, which is shocking because I normally don't really notice much of a difference with setting sprays. All right, I'm done with my makeup. The good news is that there's nothing I don't like. You know, everything was either fantastic or good, fine, totally doable. Um, there's a few things I might not go out of my way to buy if it were me personally, like the sponges. Yeah, I don't really have many complaints this time. BoxyCharm did really good these last couple months. I hope that, that was kind of, this was kind of a fun video. Um, it definitely was fun for me to film. I will try to be better in the next upcoming months about posting on time. But regardless, thanks for joining me today. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the future. By the way, I would love to film a Q&A sometime soon. So if you have any questions you would like me to answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Email me, message me on um, Instagram, whatever is your preferred method of communication. All right, well, anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a good rest of your week and enjoy spring as it's coming around the corner. Goodbye. Bubbles <laughs> and fruit along with lactic, glycolic, and silictic, silictic, silicic, silicic, anyway, acids, medium, medium, what am I saying? That's my mom pulling in, did you see that over there? That's my mom pulling in.